Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know. Please hit the like subscribe button and share with your fellow denarian friends to help support our channel. Pick up your copy of the Currency Exchange Planner today, voted the number one pre and post RV planning tool for the dinar community. Use the promo code, the denarian, and get 25% off today. You will have the planner not only on your computer at home, but also have the Currency Exchange Planner app on your phone that for a limited time is being included in the package at no extra cost to you. Everything you need to safeguard your exchange and plan your future finances will be in your hand. The banks are counting on you coming into your exchange over emotional and in disarray to take advantage of your newfound wealth. I always say it is better to be overprepared than not. Also you will sleep well at night and have extra peace of mind knowing if the IRS comes knocking at your door, you will have all pre and post RV documentation needed on hand when they request it, and they will, as you will have plenty of money at that point and Uncle Sam will be wanting every penny they can get out of you. Pick up your copy today and sleep better tomorrow, knowing all your notes serial numbers are recorded and all your finances are in order. I also highly recommend you register today with the Carrot Bar Gold Savings Program. It is extremely important you protect your savings from the financial markets right now. Now is the time to get involved so your money is protected from the pending upcoming financial crash. It's free to register and you will be ahead of everyone else as de-dollarization occurs. Get yourself registered today and be a part of the Gold Savings Team of tomorrow. Gold is true real money and has withstood the tests of time. Once you deposit your hard-earned cash in the banks, it is their money not yours and they gamble your money every day. The banks are insolvent, broke, they are borrowing money from the Fed nightly in the form of repos because the banks no longer trust each other due to high risk, why should you trust them? The Carrot Bar program is the true future of money, it is a gold savings program that saves your money in the form of gold not risky fiat money. All fiat monies fail over time, this is a fact. The gold is saved by you, in your possession, in small increments so it is affordable for everyone not just wealthy people anymore. Gold is literally the ultimate hedge against a market crash. You have the opportunity of a lifetime to get in on the ground floor of this program, do yourself a favor and start backing your hard-earned cash with gold. The Carrot Bar program and the Currency Exchange Planner work hand-in-hand hand with each other in protecting your family's finances. Get set up today, before it is too late. The link to the Carrot Bar Gold Savings Program and the Currency Exchange Planner are in the description drop down below. I encourage you, knowledge is power. Stay informed and stay alert. Get involved in both of these programs today and sleep better tomorrow. Who knows? Tomorrow may be too late. First article of interest for today, An Economist Answers. What is the money of Iraq to the U.S. Federal Reserve and can Trump take it? The economic expert, Abdul Rahman al Masadani, revealed on Sunday, 12 January 2020, what he described as a fatal strategic mistake committed by the Iraqi Central Bank which will lead to the seizure of half of the bank's reserves if the United States of America decides to impose sanctions on the country. al Macedoni said in an interview with Baghdad Today that the United States, if it blocks the access of Iraq to the money of the central bank, which is kept in the Federal Reserve Bank in New York, it is an illegal decision because the central banks are supposed to be their money protected according to treaties and agreements international and the Federal Reserve had already made compliance with the treaties granted to independent banks. He explained, there are two types of banks associations, banks that follow governments and work with the government plan, and this was what the central bank adopted before 2003 as the central bank was affiliated to the Office of the Presidency of the Republic or the Ministry of Finance, and after 2003 a decision was issued in Decree 56 of 2004 granting full independence to the bank central, indicating, it is assumed that the funds of the central bank are treated separately from the government. Concerning U.S. President Donald Trump, about his ability to withhold and seize the funds of the Federal Reserve Bank, 
he saw that the United States of America does not abide by the laws and occupied Iraq without an international mandate and an individual decision and hit more than one site with an individual decision and it can also take this decision. He pointed out the ease of possibility to challenge the United States with the independence of the central bank, especially since the bank lent to the government in 2015, 21 trillion dinars, and is still asking the government about 17 trillion dollars. He explained, the big mistake is not from the Americans, but we put our money in the Federal Reserve when our relationship was good with America and it was supposed to be distributed to more than one party and more than one bank in Britain, France, and China, stressing that the strategic error that occurred with the central bank is investing half of its reserves in U.S. Treasury bonds at a simple interest rate, which is half of 1%, and we are talking about $37 billion, half of the reserve. He continued, the sanctions are supposed to be gradual, as they were imposed on Iran, noting that the mere announcement of the imposition of sanctions will lead to a state of panic among investors and capital, and this is what happened in the first days when the exchange rate rose to $125,000 to $100. He explained, this panic caused the central bank to increase its sales from the dollar from 275 to 365 and now the central bank sells almost $300 million, which means the bank's sales are more than revenues. He continued, if the central bank's sales remain like this, we will sell six and a half billion, while our oil revenues are seven billion, and the central bank will then be forced to use its reserves to maintain the exchange rate. al Masadani added, in the event that sanctions are imposed on oil, we will only have the ability to withstand six months, because our economy does not allow that. And he added, Iraq differs from Iran which has adapted to the sanctions since 1997 and relied on itself in the industrial and agricultural sector, while Iraq relies on import. If we cut oil exports, we do not have money. We import the needs of the local market and this matter is more severe than the siege of the 1990s because the previous blockade it had government support and an industrial sector, and that does not exist now. U.S. President Donald Trump commented, on Friday, January 10, 2020, on the request of the Iraqi parliament to withdraw his country's forces, saying, We created in Iraq one of the most expensive airport installations in the world. If we leave, they, the Iraqis, must pay money for that. Countries like Saudi Arabia and South Korea pay millions of dollars for the deployment of American soldiers there. And on the way in which the money can be raised from the Iraqis, Trump said in an interview with the American Fox News station, we have a lot of their money. There is $35 billion in an account with the United States. On Sunday, January 5, 2020, the Iraqi Council of Representatives voted on the exit of all foreign and American forces from Iraq the cancellation of the role of the international coalition, in addition to cancelling the security agreement with America by the Iraqi government. Next article of interest, Representatives, the Prime Minister is negotiating with the files of the armed factions and the American forces to reassign him. It may cover the money of Iraqis abroad. U.S. President Donald Trump intends to put his hand on it if Baghdad decides to expel its forces from Iraq, a quarter of what Washington spent on the military system in the region. Trump, in his last meeting with an American station, threatened to take Iraq money into the United States if Baghdad refused to pay the costs of building the military base in Iraq, in reference to al-Assad, west of Anbar. In his last meeting, Trump said that Iraq has $35 billion in the United States, which he will use if he forces his country to withdraw the troops without paying for them. But Iraqi money in Washington may be larger than the amount Trump mentioned. According to leaks that reached the extent, the money of politicians abroad amounts to more than $500 billion. Trump said in a tweet on tension a few days ago that his country had spent $2 trillion on military equipment. We are the largest army, while responding to Tehran in an attempt to carry out attacks on American interests. The former deputy, example of Awo Alusi, 
said earlier to Almada that there is a list that includes about 100 Iraqi personalities, including former prime ministers and ministers and sons of officials accused of wasting billions of dollars in Iraqi funds. Al Alusi said that Washington would hunt down those personalities, take back that money and put it at the expense of Iraq. To that, the outgoing prime minister, Adel Abdul Mahdi, requested that the American forces leave the country again, calling this time, U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, to send delegates to implement the House's decision and put, safe, withdrawal mechanisms for American forces from Iraq. Abdul Mahdi's office revealed, in a statement on Friday, that the latter received a phone call from U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo yesterday, Thursday that dealt with recent developments and the desire of various parties to prevent escalation and go to open war. The statement quoted Abdul Mahdi as saying that Iraq refused and rejects all operations that violate its sovereignty, including the recent operation that targeted Dain al-Assad and Erbil, referring to the Iranian missile attack on Iraq, last Wednesday, indicating that Iraq is making unremitting efforts and communicating on all sides to prevent it from becoming a battlefield. The statement stressed that Abdul Mahdi asked the U.S. Secretary of State to send delegates to Iraq to put in place mechanisms to implement the House of Representatives' decision to withdraw forces safely from Iraq, stressing that Iraq is keen to keep the best relations with its neighbors and friends in the international community and to protect foreign representatives and interests in all those present on Iraqi soil. Abdel Mahdi also informed According to the statement, the U.S. Secretary of State that there are American forces entering Iraq and American marches flying in his sky without permission from the Iraqi government, and that this is in violation of the agreements in force. For his part, according to the statement, the American minister promised to follow up on the matter, stressing his country's respect for the sovereignty of Iraq. The date for the departure of the American forces, in turn, a deputy in parliament considered, in a statement to Al Mahdi yesterday, that Abdul Mahdi does not want at the moment to remove the American forces. The deputy, who asked not to be named, said the resigned prime minister, he may seriously consider this file after a new government is formed, and he may be its president again. The representative suggested that Abdul Mahdi use the file of removing the American forces and seizing armed factions as a negotiating card internally and externally in an attempt to return to the prime minister. On the other hand, Trump, in his recent interview with Fox News, answered the calls of Iraqi officials to start planning to withdraw the American forces from Iraq, saying, this is what the Iraqis say publicly. But they do not say that in private sessions. He added, we created in Iraq one of the most expensive airport facilities in the world. If we leave, they, the Iraqis, should pay money for that. He pointed out that countries like Saudi Arabia and South Korea pay millions of dollars in exchange for the deployment of American soldiers there. President Trump considered that the conditions in the Middle East under his administration became more time as ISIS was eliminated and tens of thousands of its fighters were imprisoned. Last week, the House of Representatives decided to compel the government to end the foreign presence in Iraq, and to end the assistance of the international coalition in combating ISIS and confining arms to the state. But Salim Hamza, a member of the legal committee in parliament, assured al Mahdi yesterday that the parliament is unable to force Abdul Mahdi to implement the decision to withdraw the forces. The parliament's decision to withdraw foreign forces is not an integrated project and is not binding on the government, Hams said, adding that the parliament's decisions to the government are not forced. The deputy believes that it is better to not rush in getting foreign forces out because of the security and political problems they face, and to avoid imposing sanctions on Iraq. Next article of interest. Parliamentary Finance. The 2020 budget includes the payment of the last payment of Kuwait's debts. Revealed a member of the Parliamentary Finance Committee, Hainan Kadu, today, Sunday, that this year's budget will include the payment of the last payment of debts owed by the Iraqi government to Kuwait, amounting to $2 billion. Kadu said in a radio statement that was followed by Muizain News, 
that the total amounts of the Iraqi budget for the year 2020 amount to 50 trillion Iraqi dinars, which are distributed between the salaries of the ruling expenditures such as the ration card and the wages of other cases. He explained, the total debt owed by Iraq amounts to $28 billion, indicating that Iraq seeks to delay the payment of its debts to the Gulf countries or go to the Paris Club to reduce them to 40%. Next article of interest. A source reveals that the Prime Minister's position will be decided this week, and with these specifications. An informed source revealed, today, Sunday, that a new Prime Minister will be decided this week, revealing the agreed specifications. The source said in a press statement that, an agreement was made between the political leaders at the level of the leaders of the blocs to resolve the position of Prime Minister this week. He added that, a meeting that included all the leaders of the Shiite blocs was agreed upon to resolve the position of Prime Minister this week and to the fullest extent next week, noting that, it is within the agreement that the candidate is not a military and not a judge. Iraq has been living in a constitutional vacuum for nearly two weeks, after the end of the constitutional period to assign a new Prime Minister to succeed the resigned, against the backdrop of demonstrations, Adel Abdul Mahdi. Next article of interest. A businessman reveals the Central Bank of Iraq assets and gold reserves in foreign exchange. Businessman Manar al Ubaidi revealed, on Sunday, the assets of the Central Bank of Iraq and the reserves of gold in foreign exchange. al Ubaidi said that, the total assets of the Central Bank of Iraq as of November 30 of the previous year amounted to more than 103 trillion dinars an increase of 0.5% compared to the same period of 2017. He added that, the value of gold reserves amounted to 5.3 trillion Iraqi dinars, a decline of 3% compared to the same period. As for the value of foreign exchange in the treasures of the bank, it reached 1.99 trillion, a decline of 29% from the same period. He pointed out that, the value of the issued currency amounted to 51 trillion dinars, an increase of 2% compared to the same period in the previous year. As for bank deposits, they increased by 5% to reach 25.8 trillion dinars. al Obedi added, the ratio of the currency issued is one of the major challenges, as the source cash represents 50% of the total assets of the central bank, which greatly weakens the banking system in Iraq. And he stated that, despite the increase in the value of deposits in Iraqi banks by 5%, which indicates a slight improvement in the banking system as a result of adopting the emeritization policy that allowed the opportunity to maintain salary deposits in banks, however the high cash rate and large cash liquidity pressure significantly on the banking sector. He explained that, the most important factors that lead to an increase in the ratio of the cash currency compared to deposits is the weakening of the citizens' confidence in the banking sector as a result of many factors, the most important of which are the volatile political situations and the weak marketing operations of banking and banking services. Cash to the Banking Sector Finished Next article of interest Mr. Amar al-Hakim calls for speeding up the formation of the government away from the controversy. Today, Sunday leader of the National Wisdom Movement, Mr. Amar al-Hakim, called for speeding up the formation of the government away from the controversy, stressing the importance of dialogue and sparing the region the risks of escalation. Mr. Hakim said in a statement that he received al Farid News a copy of it. During our reception the German ambassador in Baghdad Cyril Nan discussed bilateral relations between Iraq and Germany and ways to develop them to serve the interests of the two countries, as we indicated that Iraq is open to everyone in terms of common interests and respect for sovereignty. He added, we stressed the importance of relying on dialogue and avoiding the region's risks of escalation, as it does not serve anyone's interest and that the region's priorities are understanding so that peoples can enjoy their good. As far as the government file is concerned, we called for the speedy formation of it away from the dialectic, and we stressed the necessity of adopting the roadmap drawn by the religious authority to get out of the current crisis, he said. Is over. Next article of interest. Next Wednesday. Urgent meeting of the Arab Parliament to discuss developments in Iraq. 
the Arab Parliament will hold a session in Cairo next Wednesday to discuss a number of issues, including the Iraqi file. According to the media office of the Arab Parliament, the president of the Arab Parliament, Misha El bin Fam Al Salami, will preside over the second parliament session of the fourth session, in the presence of the Speaker of the Parliament in Libya, Akila Saleh, who will address the Arab Parliament on the latest developments in the Libyan affairs. He added that the Arab Parliament will issue a decision on the developments of the situation in the state of Libya pointing out that the session is also scheduled to discuss developments in the emerging situations in Iraq in light of the increasing number of dead and injured peaceful protesters. The statement pointed out that Parliament will also issue a number of unified Arab laws, documents and important parliamentary visions that will be discussed in the committees of the Arab Parliament and submitted to the plenary session of accreditation, on top of which is the Arab Water Security Document the document on the development of education in the Arab world, and the unified Arab law for the preservation and protection of Arab antiquities, and the transport law in the Arab world. The Arab Parliament session will be preceded by the meetings of the four permanent committees, on Tuesday, where the Committee on Foreign Affairs, Political and National Security will discuss a number of topics on its agenda and the most important political and security developments in the Arab countries especially in Syria, Yemen and Lebanon, and the draft Arab water security document. Want to see future posts? Hit the like and subscribe to be alerted as more articles of interest unfold. Be sure to visit the Denarian blog periodically and find me on Facebook, so you get the news in real time as it breaks throughout the day. Download your copy of the Currency Exchange Planner right now. Voted the number one pre and post RV planning tool made by Denarian for Denarians. Check it out today, the link is in the description below. Gain the upper hand that the banks don't want you to have. They are counting on you to come in confused, in disarray, and not organized. With the currency exchange planner on your side, the banks don't have a chance at pulling the wool over your eyes. Use the promo code. The denarian and get 25% off at checkout. Also, get on board the blockchain gold savings carrot bar program today. You don't have to wait until you're filthy rich to get involved. It's free to join, and the program was made so anyone can save in gold and avoid the repercussions of the possible upcoming market crash. One of the true forms of money away from the fiat system, gold. Protect your family's wealth today. I would not recommend something I do not stand behind and believe in 110%. Did you ever hear the term, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink? The links are in the description below get involved now, knowledge is power, over and out for now, the Denarian.